Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial in a new series in SolidWorks Mall Tools. This is tutorial number 176 in general, and we will talk about the Mall Tools, where to locate the commands, and which manufacturing processing are using the Mall Tools. And then we will have a quick review for the surfacing section in the Mall Tools and how they are related to the mold tools and then at the end we will have a look at some important definitions in molding, draft, working line and shrinkage. So go to SolidWorks and start a new part. Okay, so to find the mold tools commands go to insert and here you will see molds or an easier way here in the tabs right click and check mold tools and here you will get the mold tools sections or the mold tool commands so if you have a look at the mold tool commands you will see there are four sections the first section is related to surfacing most of these commands we talk about in the surfacing section and here are the analysis section the third section is drafting and parching line and scaling and the last section this is also an advantage of the SolidWorks software it has more tools commands so it makes working with molds easier as we know making molds is a complicated process and the molds are used mostly in injection molding processing, manufacturing process, mostly for plastic, and also in casting. Also, there are some molds or dies for forgings. So before going to some molding terms definitions, we will have a quick revision review for the surfacing sections. And I will put a link below for the surfacing tutorials which we talked about before. So let's go to the top plane and we will make a very simple block. So let's make it of a cube and here make a dimension of 200 and extrude it in two directions. Go to features, extrude mid plane and extruded 200 steel so let's add steel also there are some molds made of aluminium so we have a very basic block without any separation for any parts go to the mold tools and we will see how to use the planar surface go to the sketch one show select planner and select the sketch click ok so you just created a separating surface hide that you will see there is a surface so this is one way to use planar surface and also if you would like to let's show again the block and if you would like to have the planar surface not in the middle like shifted one centimeter or few millimeters above the center you can go to the offset select the planner surface and make it 20 for example click ok hide the block again you will find a second surface which is offset show the block again roll it surface for example if you don't need all the time to hide the block and need to show the the surface let's hide that sketch because there are two surfaces but they are not shown you can go to roll it surface and here are the options for example you can select the edge of that surface and the rest of the surfaces 
the rest of the edges so here you have a 10 millimeter you can increase it you can make it normal to the surface or double the vertex or sweep so we stick on the first option we can make it just straight and then we are done click ok so now you have the surface is clear and it is clear there is a surface separating the block and fill it surface for example if you would like to have a different shape than the cubic shape or the the square shape you can make a custom surface you can just for example create that surface on the top of that chip and draw a circle give it a dimension of 350 go to surface go to the mold tools exit from fill surface select so you fill it that surface which is circular surface I'm going to suppress that circular surface. So a clean surface. For example, we have created that separating surface, but when we generated that withdrawal surface, we made one for the roller and a second for the man. And here is the offset which we can suppress to make it clear so that offset and here we have only two surfaces which can be better if we make it made them in one single surface you go to need surface you can select the roller and the planar surface click ok you will notice that now we have only one single square surface. So this is a quick review for the surfacing commands in the mold tools. And later on, we will see how we can divide the block and make it two parts and add the bottom line. So now let's talk about some molding theorems. So the first term we will talk about is the draft and why we need a draft. So the draft definition, according to the Wikipedia website, is the amount of paper for molded or cast part perpendicular to the parting line. And it is measured by degrees. And we will show this what is exactly mean the draft. And you may already know what is the draft because there is many commands in SOLIDWORKS we use in the solid features we have the draft so there we are creating an angle and why we need the draft it makes it easier to extract the parts the injected part or cassette part from the mold and that will also increase the mold life as you know the molds are quite expensive and the next term is the parting line so this is the parting line where the draft is calculated so we made the part as you remember in the beginning here so the parting line should be this line over here which is spreading the mold also to draw the parting line here so we can draw that spreading line between the two sides of the mold and here we can draw so here I made a very simple shape if you see the line the straight line over there that can be the parching line and the top side over here is the upper side of the mold and here is 
the lower part of the mold and here is the casted or the injected product let's see it is a cup over there so the draft is if you see the angle also the draft can be positive and negative here for example this side and we said this is this line is the parting line and here can be a positive draft and this side is a negative side so if you imagine the product over there with a draft it will be easier to to be extract extracted from the mold so this is a positive draft and here this side is a negative draft so here again we can see this is the parting line and here is if we make a straight line and here is the draft angle So one last term is shrinkage. Once we extracted this cup from the mold, so this is the actual size of the mold, but after cooling, it will get smaller. For example, it's a plastic or a metallic. So that is a very basic. So as we know, the material are shrink when it gets colder. If the plastic which is used is will be shrinking with 40%. So the mold should be designed 4% larger than the actual product.